So um, our next speaker is Mark Harwin. So Mark was a student of Chris Harris, who was himself um, uh, a CUNY product. Chris actually was a student of Leeds and came on at Brooklyn College, also part of the CUNY in the city university system. But then Chris worked with Josh and Mark Chris and Mark Josh and they would spend Josh. Mark has been in the lab for a number of years, I want to bounce. Um, and he's pursued, he's one of the key people pursuing this line of work that was very important to Josh's other realm of the human eye movement behavior and attention behavior. And I'll let Mark talk about that. Nor is it a sentimental title, it's actually a definition. As we all know, <laughs> The most, uh, got the most enjoyment I've ever met from someone of the EMT. But he will be, he actually insists on it. Sometimes you come in the morning tired and late night stuff, and you go, Josh, do I really have to tease you this morning? And the answer, of course, is always yes. You keep, <laughs> you keep teasing you until you came back with, a, with a, an appropriate cheeky comment. At which point his face would light up because mission accomplished, you roast him again. <laughs> And it was particularly true, he particularly enjoyed it for people who were slightly more differential than myself. Um, <laughs> Jelly for us when she first came. Because uh, I was a little bit of a challenge to get them to, 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 to Josh and to, to tease them back. So, uh, in this talk, there are going to be some familiar themes that we've already heard about today, so it's going to be today. Um, but I'm going to touch lightly on some of the science that maybe people are less familiar with, it's more recent work. And uh, the main emphasis. work with Josh was very much to, to laugh with Josh. And one, one thing they did teach them was that they should present what most people would think of first. And as we've heard, the Walker family is very much uh, centered to his life. He was uh, very much also centered to life. And yeah, many people said that it was his, his family, because he didn't have much real extended family, and this was his family. And these are just like, these are just people that I've met. Maybe if the target moves and the eye follows it and move the target. 
of the uh, lantern spin at the end, the iron changes its size and it's just going down very much. He was actually fascinated by this because this is really, this is even a question of like aiming slightly differently. It's actual mural has to happen in life. You watch each one of these points is one of the different So there's really a, a rewire that's going on in this cycle of the brain. But in addition to, in addition to, to his eye work, his more subtle sort of work and outwards with that, which is very interesting and still thing up here, this uh, this cortex where um, more wacky things can go on. So you even have wackiness, I suppose, it's like you were good and this is where that happens. So Albert, um, I think was that Albert was taking me to maybe describe a little bit more that the attention work than the set up, but, um, which was this heroic set of experiments before I before I got there, where again most people will just try and do something physical that they can measure. But it's attention, it's very hard to measure it with attention. Probably right about now because I will And uh, so to, but you came up with this ingenious way of measuring where their attention was. And then when their attention moved there, while people were still fixated, he would move things around. So you'd actually adapt to where people were attending, messing with people's brains in a real but very imaginative and creative way. So when I started with that, I was like, wow, I read that paper. Like, I was just so good over there. It was such an ambitious uh, target to, to go for. I thought, well, really, we can try anything. This, this guy's not going to do anything. So we had a period, uh, the first couple of years, of basically unconstrained wackiness. If Josh would come up with some wacky idea, I would say, okay, I'll try and push that. Well, he would talk to me, of course. And we would uh, go back and forth. We so would start looking at a whole bunch of different, more, uh, more grid, the higher level ones. After a couple of years, we thought, well, you know, we've got some really provocative early days. I thought, well, what we should do, Josh is the constant grant writer. We should learn English very well. You know, 30 years of grant writing. He's obviously the master. Blah, 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 blah. He's got the system down there. And as we've heard already, the uh, illusion to that sometimes is a little bit more. We've been working like crazy for three weeks, 
everyone working on it as hard as they can, and we just get that completely brick wall. And um, I remember his reaction when I explained why how bad it was, because the, there were figures in there that shouldn't have been in there, there were figures from experiments, there were experiments which had the figures from taken out, all the numbers were completely random. And <laughs> it's, it's hard to imagine that in 25 pages, or well, about 30 figures, but in another 30 figures, it's just very difficult, there's no point in And he was pressed for it, and because I already guaranteed that I would take care of the number of figures, I thought that. I was being a similar pressure. And, um, when, when we're pressured in the lab, what we generally tend to do is we tend to generally call on our local superhero, Ashley, the Wonder Woman. So she, she came in, there's the two of us um, working like crazy. It was the most intense work experience for two hours of my entire life. Because it really was like, the, I chose this picture because it's like a slow motion crash. And um, it's that, that idea that time slows down when you're in a, in a crash is. It's something I've experienced in it, and it feels very, very well. In fact, I mean, Josh has done an experiment on that, measuring that phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, that's another one to So, it, 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 was, it was very intense, and it also felt like a change. Uh, we had the kind of rubber necklace as well. We had the whole rest of the lab like, basically <laughs> behind us. It was a two person job, like, in enough space, and uh, everyone was very quiet. Was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what, so we were making some progress, and um, it was clear that we were getting to that time where we couldn't rely on the A chain. Okay? So we had to have some wheels, and I've seen you make a call for, for our husband Hans to come down and just wait outside, have the engine run, ready to get going. And of course, it's perfect for Hans, because she's been telling me for years, like, oh, she drives so crazy fast, stop it, stop it. And here we get the complete free reign to go as fast as he like. And you're literally sitting there in the dark with the leather gloves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us were like, it's stress. Like, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, 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 back in the lab, though, it's, it's, it's still not under control. But again, the, the super king of Wonder Woman of Ashley finally resisted. <laughs> you get all the figures in place, but oh, then it's lost time. Uh oh. We're, we're still in Harlem, it's only past 11. We haven't started printing. We're really in trouble. Paris is still waiting. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a very good printer. A lot of, a lot of copies we buy. A very good printer. So, so we cover that pretty quickly. We haven't lost much time. We run down the stairs. And um, I'm a bit faster than Josh. I'm getting there. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to work that. There's Paris under the street light waiting. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm holding the door open for the rest of the gang. We're running after it. And so I expect that my field is breezy. Like, oh, it's Josh running a bit faster than the time. Steve's woman. She goes straight past me, runs into the car, shouts at the, shouts at the house, take to the post office right now! And um, I was saying, oh, that was a bit of a surprise. And, uh, but it was, it was somewhat had reassuring because um, it showed that we weren't the only creative people at like half past 11 that were going to do a run. It, even in this one building in New York, there must be other people as well. And sure enough, when we got down to the post office, there were a whole bunch. So it was also a bit of a surprise for Afshin, because uh, one of the she was, she didn't quite understand why her husband had unlocked the doors and let this strange woman in the car. So uh, there, was, there was a little bit of flack coming back. <laughs> and once, once we ejected um, this strange woman, this insolent woman, Harris did a good job. He was right on it, living up to his, his, his credit. And uh, so we're on the West Side Highway. I'm right about this time, so this is straight from the middle of my mouth. So, yeah, she's in front, Harris is in front, Josh is on one side, I'm in the middle, Joanne is here. And of course, we've got like, all these copies, and we haven't managed to sort them, so we're all just sorting, like, who's got the uh, appendix? Who's got the appendix? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, halfway down the West Side Highway, we suddenly realized that the last section in the document has run out of page numbers, like the word, 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 <laughs> it's stopped. So we had no page numbers, and in our delirious, exhausted, stressed out state, we thought it seemed like a great idea to write the numbers. <laughs> page 24, page 25. And let me tell you, once, um, once you get a certain speed on the West Side Highway, I won't divulge it for Harris's legal safety reasons, 
does. I want to hit a certain speed. Josh's head starts getting smaller. We've worked all that. A little bit more acceleration, my head starts hitting the same. And then, of course, Joanne, and even, even F. Sheen, who's in the front of the seatbelt, her head is like hitting the same thing at a certain point. And, uh, and uh, so, yeah, we had to time like our life on the floor. And I'm like, get down the pipe. And there's a. Uh, 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 like I say, it's the first time for me at least. So. <laughs> So okay, so we so we finally finally get to the get to the post office. All four doors. It was like a very gangster. It's like we're doing a raid on a post office. <laughs> we didn't even have the shots on, but we were at everything, it was all these papers. And um I was like, okay, oh gee, thank goodness we made it. Let's breathe, what's the time? Oh okay, sorry, that's my problem. The man wishes you don't get to see what goes on. So, so the post office, if you know, is that you all know it's this beautiful neoclassical building with this nice space. So we get there, and just a quick time check. It's okay. I always keep my watch for five minutes. But I'm like, oh, so we're okay, we have five minutes. We're pretty good. We, in fact, we were so relaxed at this point after all the stress that we decided that actually we actually had the time to, uh, to video Josh's final um, move up the steps. How do I do this? He was, he was pretty, he was gone. He was pretty confident by this stage. So he even decided to take a little nap here. You get the idea. It was worth, it worth flying in the warm up. I'm going to let run a fraction longer if it will let me, just because there's a trademark Josh move right at the end. Especially once the school's themes, so... 